The Battle of the Bulge doesn't always go according to plan. We might work tirelessly, eating healthy foods and exercising regularly, and still be left with a body that isn't quite happy about how it looks in the mirror. I think we've all been there before at some point or another. One of the healthiest weight management methods is dieting because it's been found that fad diets are not as effective as adopting a lifestyle change. The latest diet trend to take off is flexible dieting, which allows dieters to eat whatever they want but in moderation while staying within their daily calorie allowance. Before learning more about flexible diet in this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to help us to give you even more videos and diet plans. Flexible dieters, who use the phrase, eat what you want but in moderation, tend to consume few calories because they eat foods that are high in fiber and protein. But does flexible dieting work? Flexible dieters rarely lose any weight for the simple reason that they remain at the same weight when their calorie intake is adjusted. The only thing flexible dieting does is fall into the category of weight loss fads. It doesn't mean that it's ineffective or unsafe. And it's not only specific to those people looking to lose weight. Flexible dieting works for all adults regardless of their body shape and size, since it involves a sense of moderation within a fixed caloric intake. The main goal of a flexible dieter is to maintain his or her current weight. Flexible dieters have been found to be more successful in achieving their goals. Flexible dieting for weight management isn't about obsessing about calories and trying to stay within the perfect number of calories. Flexible dieters might fail initially, but they shouldn't feel less confident about the process because it's just a part of the learning curve. They shouldn't get frustrated at first and deprive themselves from foods they love because that only makes losing weight harder on them. They need to learn what works for them instead of pushing themselves too hard and feeling guilty every time they eat something that isn't within their daily calorie range. Flexible dieters need to let go of the idea they can eat whatever they want as long as they burn off the calories through exercise. Flexible dieters tend to lose weight when they eat a deficit of fewer calories than their body burns in a day. And also, flexible dieting is not something you should do forever because it can lead to gaining fat once the goal is reached if you keep eating more calories than you burn by doing activities. Flexible diets are for people looking for lifelong changes rather than short-term results. It's all about finding a balance and not trying to deny yourself foods you love completely. This is where most dieters fail, because they feel deprived by the strict rules they make for themselves. Flexible dieting has a lot of moving parts that need to be worked out in order for it to run smoothly. And weight gain is mostly caused by consuming too many calories instead of eating specific food groups like grains, fats, and proteins. So before starting a flexible diet, it's important to break down your macros into smaller quantities that fit into your daily calorie intake. For example, let's say I eat 2,000 calories on a daily basis and I want to lose weight by eating under 2,000 calories per day. 1,000 calories equals one pound of fat. So if I want to lose one pound of fat in a week, I need to create a deficit of 1,000 calories per week. If I'm eating 2,000 calories per day, therefore 14,000 per week, then my task is to reduce my daily calorie intake by 1,000 at the very least so if my goal was to lose one pound of weight every week, that means that I need to eat 150 to 250 fewer calories every day. This can be done by reducing the total calorie intake. Whatever it is, you need to do the math and find out which option is best for you. Once this is determined, it's vital to understand how flexible dieting works in order to succeed. If you're on a flexible diet and you want to lose weight, then follow the plan. Don't cut calories too drastically or go on a diet for too long, and don't forget to make sure you're eating enough healthy foods. The most important aspect of flexible dieting is that by eating in moderation, your body will be able to metabolize excess calories, which will lead to weight loss. If you're trying to figure out what kind of diet plan is best for you and are looking for more ideas, then keep watching to get the four best flexible diets plan. 
If you're watching this, then it's because flexible dieting intrigues you. You might have tried some other diet and didn't have any success. But the thing is that successful weight loss is all about finding what works best for your body, not following strict rules that only work for some people based upon the body's needs. How to start your flexible dieting journey. Depending on your daily calorie intake, you will have to find which of these diets works for you. There's a lot of information and it can be overwhelming to search through, but it's important that you find out what works best for your body type and your life before starting any of these diets. Determine calorie needs based upon the BMR or TDE calculator. You can input the required information like height, weight, age, sex and exercise habits in order to determine how many calories you should be consuming on a daily basis. Then, choose a flexible diets from the list below. 1. IFYM Diet If you follow the IFYM approach, then you'll get more flexibility and won't have to worry about eating a certain amount of fat or a certain amount of carbs because this diet is all about eating whatever nutrients that will help your body function properly. This makes it easy for the dieter because all they have to do is follow their macronutrient ratios and not worry about calorie counting or portion control. Most people who try this diet lose weight fast while still being able to eat whatever they want. 2. Direct Diet Plan If you're looking for something that will make it easy for you to follow a diet program, then the Direct Diet Plan is perfect for you because it doesn't have any calorie counting or meal planning involved. This diet works by allowing you to eat whatever foods you want while working with your body in order to figure out what macronutrients are best for your body type before moving on to the next step. The only thing that you have to remember is to make sure that your meals don't have more than 1,000 calories or less than 600 calories. If so, then just make sure to adjust your portions to accommodate for these specific caloric needs. 3. The Macros Diet most diets work by controlling calories, and the macros diet is no different because in order to lose weight, you'll have to go below your daily caloric intake. This diet doesn't allow you to eat any amount of foods that don't contribute to your daily caloric needs. You need to calculate how many grams of each macronutrient you should be eating, proteins and fats, based upon your body's needs. 4. Eat Stop Eat Diet Plan the only thing that the Eat Stop Eat diet plan does is tell you to eat until you're full. If you're trying to lose weight, then you won't be able to indulge in food that has more calories because it will affect your weight loss goals. This diet can help you lose weight quickly because it takes away all of the stress and guesswork which comes with a loose diet plan like the IFYM or other flexible diets. There are many variations of this diet out there and what works best for each person will vary. However, everyone can follow this diet because it's not overly restrictive and doesn't require a lot of thinking or menu planning. I hope you enjoyed this video and are going to try a flexible diet for your health and weight loss. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and don't hesitate to watch our other videos. Thanks for watching this video and if you want more videos on how to boost your metabolism and lose more weight, Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.